What up guys, if you guys are trying to buy the cheapest and most reliable MT online, make sure to go to nbamtstore.com and use the code SHIFT for 5% off your next purchase. All the other info is in the description guys, be sure to check it out. What's going on guys, it's Shiv, I'm back here with another video for you guys today. And today guys, we got some new packs in the market, so you already know we got some snipe filters. Today I think we can actually make a decent amount of MT. A lot of people are probably opening these up because you guys already know, everyone's trying to get that pink diamond Dr. J. If you guys don't know how to get that pink diamond Dr. J right here, go to your collection premium. You gotta complete these sets every week. So for this week it's Dennis Rodman, last week you had to get that Gary Payne. So each week for this entire season, one will ride season, they're gonna put some sort of set and if you collect all of those collector rewards, then you get that. So yeah, and then also guys, we have the spotlight challenges right here. So the spotlight challenges, if you do these each week, you can get a diamond Bill Russell. So Michael Thompson's the one this week, I haven't done it yet. Last week it was Walt Frazier, right, yeah, right. it was Sapphire Walt Frazier. So yeah, we're gonna have three more of them and then you get a diamond Bill Russell, which is pretty sick. But yeah, that's not the point of this video guys. We're gonna get into some filters for you guys real quick. Um, yeah, we got the new packs right here. What just even happened? Did 2K just crash on me? All right, I don't even know what that was, but we got Diamond Isaiah Thomas, Diamond Lamar Odom, and with this Bailey Howell, I don't know why we got him in packs. Ruby Kenny Smith, Ruby Andre Godala. So it's not bad. If you look at last Friday's packs, bro, we got Amethyst MJ, Amethyst Kobe, Amethyst Kareem. And now we're getting Amethyst Bailey Howell. So that kind of shows you what's the difference between Tuesday packs and Friday packs. Obviously, Friday packs are gonna be like the better promo. I feel like that's just really how they've always been doing it in 2K, so yeah. That's basically it guys, we're gonna get into filters right now, go through the market and stuff like that, so let's get into the video right away, like up this video if you guys enjoy this video, subscribe if you're new as always, but yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so yeah, first filter I'm gonna go through is, so obviously the diamond filter still works, so the diamond filter, this is mainly if you just wanna get any card, whoa, did that just show me Larry Bird's 120k now? Wow. Wow, it's, he's really 120k now, but okay, diamond filter right here guys, you go to like around 50, 60k, I think that's what Jason Kidd's price is, because Jason Kidd I think is the cheapest diamond on the market right now, oh, he's a little bit higher in price now, okay, so he looks like he, he increased in price in a little bit, oh, he's 70k now, so honestly what you guys want to do on this filter is basically just go 60k, yeah, go like 60k on the filter, diamond 60k, see if you can snipe anything, this would include J Jason Kidd, Larry Bird, Hakeem, and then now Isaiah Thomas and Lamar Odom. So yeah, you can definitely snipe some good diamonds on this filter, guys. Just go diamond 60k. Keep refreshing right there. You might be able to get yourself an IT or a Lamar Odom on this filter. But then again, if you guys strictly want to snipe that um, Isaiah Thomas and Lamar Odom, just go diamond, then just go one will rise back to back. Then you find that Isaiah Thomas and Lamar Odom are like over 200k, it looks like right now. So I know this is like right, like these are the first cards that were pulled for Isaiah Thomas and put on the auction house. So right here, if you go minimum about 500, yeah, literally nothing is popping up. So that means they're both over 100k right now. Their value is both over 100k right now, so sniping on this filter definitely works too. Honestly, getting them for straight 100k, I don't know if that would be considered a snipe. You might not be able to sell them for more than that. So maybe just try to get them under like 90k or so. This is just what my recommendation would be. Because you guys already know, right when cards come out, their prices are a little bit higher than what they're going to level out to today. So like later today, you can see both of them for a buyout, maybe like 100k or 90k. We really don't know depending on depending on how many people how many cards actually get pulled for each type of those So how many Isaiah Thomas's get pulled how many Lamar Odom's get pulled so that's basically what determines how, um, what their price is But yes, to still definitely try out this filter Maybe just play your maximum about a 90k to make it a little bit easier I'll just quickly do it to like 90k and then yeah, you can just keep refreshing right there You can still snipe them and it definitely works. So try out this filter guys same thing You can honestly there's only one card for it. Um, where is it one will rise back to back it is only this guy, so you could either hard scope him or something like that, or just go on like the classic amethyst filter, the amethyst filter where you just go to the cheapest one. So this filter definitely works too. Um, oh, I went way too high up, but I think it's Dennis Johnson and Doug Christie. Those should be the cheapest ones. They're like the first amethyst we got in packs this year. So okay, so it looks like they're a little bit higher than 20k now. Um, wow, I'm I'm really surprised on how prices are actually increasing a little bit right now, especially on the day that these packs drop. So it looks like they're around at that 23k price, 22k, yeah. So what you guys want to do, Amethyst 20k, I would say, maybe even 19k. Go like that, that, and then you can see if you can get yourself, what's his name again? The new guy that just came out today, and then Doug Christie, Dennis Johnson, all the new ones, Sean Marion, RJ, all the Amethysts that have come out in packs so far, this filter, you guys can definitely do it to get some of those cards. I've gotten actually decent snipes on this filter. Like, I've, I sniped a decent amount of Dennis Johnson's, Doug Christie's when they came out. I'm going to try to snipe that new guy today. I still can't remember his name. I'm not even going to go check, because he's pretty irrelevant. I really don't care. So yeah, and this filter guys, definitely try that. Same thing with the rubies, like even the ruby filter, it made me look, you guys see right here, I have a bunch of Tony Allen's and Bill Wallens. I've been starting to sell some of them. I still have this dame to sell too. But yeah, Tony Allen's, uh, Bill Wallens, I kept a bunch of them. I'm gonna do the same thing with Iggy and, um, wow, I really got a bad memory this morning. Come on now. Who are the players? Kenny Smith and Bailey Howell. There we go. 
Andre Godal, Kenny Smith, try to try to snipe some of them, and you can honestly hold on to them. Because the thing is, what I did, I, I sniped probably five to ten of each of Bill Russell and, and Tony Allen that day that the Stoppers packs came out, and then later I sold them each for like three or four thousand. So like that's really how you guys want to do it. See right here, the cheapest. Oh wow, the cheapest one's like three thousand. I'm really so what what I did last time was just go 1800 1800 keep refreshing see if I can get something looks like that Iggy he's obviously gonna be glitched but keep refreshing right here see if you can get yourself a Kenny Smith or an Iggy for under 2k and honestly I would either add the first two that you snipe to your collection then the rest of them just hold them in your auctions and see if you can make some more empty like a week from now or something what I did is literally just sell them a week later and you can maximize the amount of empty I'm gonna sell the rest of those Bill Wallens and um, Tony Allen's later today just to ma make some more empty I'll probably be at around 300k after that which is pretty solid so yeah i'll take that definitely guys try out this ruby filter too ruby filters are pretty underrated not a lot of people are on them so definitely try them out you can make some quick empty you guys and then other than that like i would honestly still go to this classic one right here that i talked about last time amethyst central so on this run this one right here into Giannis, mj and d rose i wonder what d rose's price is now let me check d rose's price before so it looks like he's a little bit under 80k now he was around like that 50, uh, 60k range, but I'm assuming his price has increased because he's been out of packs now. Yeah, you can't even see one for 74k it looks like, so he's probably around that 76k range. But same thing on this filter, guys. Amethyst Central, you want to basically just snipe, go to the cheapest one, go 5%, 10% lower, my bad. So the Giannis, I believe, yeah, Giannis is the cheapest one on this filter, guys. So go around 50k, 50k right here, 47k. Wow, his price is really dropping. You see, the market's all over the place right now, guys. Literally, some cards are going up, some cards are going down. But basically, M of the Central, 40k right here, guys. Go on this filter. Three solid cards that you guys can see on this filter. All three cards are like really good players if you guys want to add them to your lineup. So I'd recommend trying this out. And if, especially if you can get yourself a D Rose or an MJ for this like low of a price, you can make it like a lot of MT pretty quickly. So yeah, that's basically it for these filters, guys. Those are some pretty good filters. You know what? Something a filter I haven't really tried this year. I'm just gonna try it right now. The 600 filter. Yeah, so the 600 filter, I guess it still works. The 600 filter, so cards are still going for like 650, 700 it looks like. So honestly, you could just go 550. Try to go, go in the 550 filter. Oh, I keep trying to buy this one. 550 filter, I don't know why I'm stuttering, but yeah. Anything that pops up on this filter is a snag bag. See if you can get yourself a diamond on this filter, you can make a tons of MT right away. I got myself pretty nice knives on this filter last year, so I haven't really been on this filter this year. I'm going to try going on it a little bit more, the 550 filter. Because these filters honestly are really solid. You can make a lot of quick MT. You might even do like a snipe challenge on it. So yeah, we'll try this out later, guys. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video, guys. That's all the filters. I just want to show you guys a quick locker code too if you guys stayed to the end of the video. You guys are the real ones right here. But we got a new locker code, back-to-back -back challenges. Back-to-back -back pack challenges, I think. Yeah, back-to-back -back pack. So these are basically, I guess, for the spotlight challenges and the packs that just came out. Back-to-back. -back. You get a chance basically at two different packs and then i think actually a gold consumable pack a league pack and i think it's just one of the back-to-back -back packs so hopefully i can get that back-to-back -back pack open one up i always like open up packs that you know i'm a pack addict i still got to spend my 100k guys for my vc that i got for pre-order so i gotta try that out right here's the code guys back-to-back -back packs challenges i don't know why that's so hard for me to say but right here guys let's try that code out let's see what we can do ball drops i like it this year they're a little bit quicker and all that so we gotta go for yellow so i'm gonna drop it in the middle on the left that was a bad drop that was a terrible drop guys hopefully we can get a reset Nah, i think i think we're done for yeah we're getting what is what even is that what is red we're getting the base league pack okay fine i'll open up one of those i think we got one free token right there too so yeah, let's just open this up real quick base league pack can we at least get like a silver that's worth something or something like that come on now 2k flip all we're getting a bronze alfonso okay, he's on the calves now wow all right guys yeah that's gonna wrap up today's video hope you guys enjoyed it make some empty off filters and everything guys Today's a good day to make MT and to buy cards if you guys are trying to buy cards, all of that, guys. So, yeah, keep sniping, guys. Let me know if you guys got any snipes. Send it to me on IG, Twitter, Discord. It's all in the description, guys. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like up the video. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out. Peace.